Adnan Sokina Women's Medical College, Jashore. In today's session, we will discuss about anti-diabetic drug and our uh, topic of discussion is about insulin. Insulin is an anabolic hormone that is released from the pancreatic beta cell uh, and which is given for controlling of type 1 diabetes mellitus and type 2 diabetes mellitus when oral anti-diabetic drug is failed to control the chronic hyperglycemia. Insulin is a polypeptide which is composed of 51 amino acid and uh, composed of two chain, one is B chain and A chain and it is interlinked by a disulfide linkage and its molecular weight is 5808. Insulin is so much important for our metabolism and to control our blood sugar level. Insulin is a immense gift of our creature because it is the only hormone that control our blood sugar level and in our body all the other hormones which increase our blood sugar level and it is the only hormone that decrease our blood sugar level and control our blood sugar level. So, before going to insulin we have to discuss why insulin is important in controlling of diabetes mellitus, why insulin is necessary nowadays what is the indications of insulin? Insulin is indicated in type 1 diabetes mellitus, it is indicated in type 2 diabetes mellitus when oral anti-diabetic agent are failed to control the chronic hyperglycemia. Insulin is used in diabetes mellitus with different type of surgery in perioperative, postoperative and uh, uh, and preoperative period. Insulin is also necessary to control the gestational diabetes mellitus. Not only the diabetes mellitus, but also electrolyte imbalance. Insulin controls a electrolyte imbalance situation that is called hyperkalemia because insulin increases the intake of potassium into the cell of our body and it takes the blood potassium into the cell and makes the blood potassium into normal level. So, in case of hyperkalemia is another indications of insulin. These are the important indications of insulin in the professional examination in our everyday situation insulin is so much necessary. So, we have to know why insulin is necessary for us and this is the important indications of insulin. Before going to insulin uh, we have to uh, uh, we first discuss about the pancreas. So, before discussing uh, the pancreas, the pancreas is an important mixture of gland. It is a composed of exocrine and endocrine part. The exocrine function is, uh, uh, of the pancreas is related with the digestive enzyme and also related with the bicarbonate secretion. And it secretes from the acinate cell to the pancreatic duct and this duct release their digestive enzyme and also the bicarbonate into the second part of the duodenum. This secretion does not go into the blood. The endocrine portion is composed of cluster of cells which is called the islets of Langerhans cell and which secretes many enzymes and in which one of the cell is beta cell that release the insulin. Not only release the insulin, beta cell release the pro-insulin and also the connecting peptide and also an important hormone that is amylin. So, now uh, this is the picture of the pancreas. Pancreas is a double gland. It is a mixture of exocrine and endocrine gland. The exocrine function is pancreas is 99 percent the functioning pancreas as an exocrine gland and the endocrine gland it acts as only 1 percent. This is the exocrine portion of the pancreas and this is the endocrine part. Endocrine part uh, mostly composed of cluster of cell that is called the islets of Langerhans cell. This is the islets of Langerhans cell and this is the exocrine pancreas, uh, exocrine part of the pancreas which is composed of acinar cell. Through the acine and through the pancreatic duct it releases into the uh, second part of the duodenum. Uh, it secretes the digestive enzymes and also the bicarbonate from the inner of the cell it secretes the bicarbonate and from the inside of the cell it secretes the digestive enzyme which is released through the pancreatic duct. This is the pancreatic duct and it releases this uh, 
contents into the second part of the duodenum. So, this is the important function of the exocrine part of the pancreas, but our discussion is totally dependent on endocrine part. This endocrine part is composed of cluster of cell. This is the cluster of cell which is scattered throughout the pancreas and this is called the islets of Langerhans cell. These islets of Langerhans cell composed of four types of cell. That is the alpha cell, that is the beta cell, that is the delta cell and another cell that is called pancreatic polypeptide. These islets of Langerhans mainly present, mainly presents into the tail of the pancreas. Excess of islets of Langerhans cell presents in the tail of the pancreas, but it is scattered throughout the pancreas. The important cell uh, that is uh, uh, released from the islets of Langerhans cell, one is alpha cell. Alpha cell presents in the periphery and it secretes the glucagon. The function of glucagon in starvation in fasting it causes glycogenolysis and ca causes the gluconeogenesis and uh, maintain our blood sugar level when blood sugar level is less in certain situation. The another cell is beta cell. Beta is a beautiful lady that is present in the cluster of the cell or in the middle part of the cell. These cells are uh, release the uh, insulin connecting peptide proinsulin and amylin. There is another cell that is delta cell which is scattered throughout the periphery, throughout the periphery. This is the peripheral uh, delta cell and this is the inner delta cell and they release the, this uh, delta cell release the somatostatin which is a universal inhibitor. And there is another cell that is called pancreatic polypeptide which secretes the pancreatic polypeptide. This alpha cell, another name of alpha cell is A cell, another name of beta cell is B cell, another name of delta cell is D cell and another name of the PP cell is F cell. So, these are the important, uh, important cell that are released from the islets of Langerhans and uh, from this the beta cell mass, the secretion of insulin which is the uh, today's uh, topic session. So, this is the insulin and uh, the insulin is released from the pancreatic beta cell. Now, uh, uh, we going through the uh, structure of the insulin. So, uh, this is the pro-insulin, sorry, this is the pre-pro-insulin. which is composed of 110 amino acid. This pre -pro insulin is composed of 110 amino acid and it is composed of an initial segment which is produced or which is composed of many different types of amino acid. It is called the initial segment, uh, another name of initial segment is signal sequence. So, this is the B chain which is composed of uh, 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 some, uh, some amino acids and they are connecting with the A chain. This is the A chain which is composed of uh, uh, some types of am uh, amino acid and this is connecting with the C peptide. This is the pre pro insulin and this is the first precursor of insulin. This pre pro insulin is become pro insulin by cutting of the initial sequence or initial segment or signal sequence it becomes the pro insulin in pro uh, this is the pro insulin. So, by cutting the initial segment this this structure is formed and it is called the pro-insulin in which there is B chain in there is A chain and C peptide. But they are interlinked when with the disulfide linkage through interlinked or intralinked it is produced the pro-insulin. In human the pro-insulin amino acid is 86 amino acids. This pro-insulin then converted into insulin and C peptide by cutting the C peptide out from the pro-insulin and it becomes insulin and C peptide. So, this is the structure of the insulin. Insulin is a composed of 51 amino acid. There is 51 amino acid. The B chain contains 30 amino acid and A chain contains 21 amino acids and they are interlinked.